Okay, what's up everybody? It's your girl Mystic. So I'm here today to bring you a nice little review slash kind of haul on the things that I've gotten or purchased from offline and things like that. And throughout the video, you're probably going to hear my loud little child. Yes, she just loves to talk when mommy is talking, so I'm sorry for that. And also, I know the quality isn't the greatest. I am on a PC webcam. You know, I don't have all those coins to get a nice little camera right now. So, you know, bear with me. Um, where is all that? Oh, my clothes and my jacket and stuff all in the background. I'm sorry for that. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's the worst. Okay. All right, y'all. So I'm here today to talk to you guys about the and she's eating right now too. So excuse me about the Myla Maya inspired booth and um that, like I, why I, why I say Maya inspired is because here's the booth here. Now you should know what I'm talking about. Yes. Some of you guys, if you follow Public Desire on Facebook, you have seen this this booth. Um, this is not from Public Desire. If you look closely, there are a few differences. Um, this booth is from eBay. And the funny thing is, uh, okay, well, here is what happened. Um, my... I have a sibling who is across the pond over there in the UK, and uh, she sent me the the you know some boots like this. I told her how much I wanted these boots, and I couldn't find them anymore, and blah blah blah. blah. And so she surprised me, and she sent me a pair. But before I, before she could even send them or whatever, before I got them, I went ahead and ordered them offline. So I ended up having two pairs. So, but I'm here to talk about this pair. You can get this offline from eBay. And the reason why I say you can get it from eBay is because I went online and I tried to look for them at Public Desire's website, on Public Desire's website, and I did not see them anymore. Um, not the color that I wanted, anyway. The thing is, is um, they're $67 U.S. US dollar amount on the website. When you first go on there, it'll say thirty nine ninety nine, and you're thinking like, oh, well, I'll buy a few. They're all you know, they're that cheap. Why not? No, but not over over here at sixty seven ninety two. Um, and that's just you know, I was kind of hurt because I needed black. And um, uh huh, I'm a fashionista on a budget. I'm also a mama and everything else. So, um. But right now, I needed black, honey, because I needed to go a little bit of everything. And as a fashionista, black is a staple in your closet, and black is almost in everything. So I needed a black boot, and, you know. And with this boot, and it's so awesome, you can dress it up, dress it down, uh, make it casual. It, uh, this is a these are a, these are a statement boot. They are a statement boot, and they are tough. You hear me? I get so many compliments on them. Um, there's only a few differences from the, from this one. This one is, like I said, these ones are from eBay, and the seller is Fashion Thirsty on eBay. And uh, there is no name. I didn't go online and look up Maya uh, when I couldn't find them because they the black ones weren't on Public Desire anymore. They had a tan color. A red and a, a blue color, and I don't. I guess that's why I was stressing that I need a black black boot, so I couldn't get them from Public Desire. So what I had to do is I had to um, I had to go online and just search for them, like just get my imagination together, and was just like, well, what what do they look like? What are they called? And um, I just went online and I typed in uh, chunky heels, cleated boot uh 
yeah, this Chunky Hill Cleaning Boot, and they pop right on up. The World Wide Web will come through for you when you want it to. Okay? So, um, if they came right through, and they, and they just popped up and everything. And, um, from eBay, they're $44. And I don't think I have it on my up anymore. Yes, I do. Okay. Well, even at forty four seventy seven, shipping is nineteen fifty eight on Public Desire. They are sixty seven ninety two, I believe. And I believe shipping is like twenty bucks and twenty something dollars. And if you don't, if you don't care about it being tracked, I think it's eight. I'm not sure. I didn't buy from Public Desire, so I don't know all the details. Um, I ordered these October 7th, and it said estimated delivery was October 17th, and I don't know, I may have gotten them before that, I believe. I think I got them before October 17th, or, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, but they came quick, and I was pretty pleased with the shipping, so, um, packaging that they came in they just came in a, a box and I got rid of the box but I kept them later for you guys let me get back to this video here um here is the lid it says retro I believe it said retro inside the boot but I think I wore them so much and just wore them out I don't see it anymore um, and like I said, they're inspired. I'm not going to disrespect the boot and say knock off. I'm going to say inspired by Republic Desire, my yeah, boot. And I don't know. They probably didn't even do it first. So who knows? Um, a couple of differences, and there's only a few. And I don't care about that, the differences. The ones on Public Desire seem like they were just a little bit higher. Maybe about a half an inch or an inch higher the shaft. Uh, the heels look identical. It looks like it had three straps instead of just these two. It looks like it had like one strap. Not three buckles, just three straps and two buckles. These only have two buckles and just two straps, if that makes any sense. Uh, the ridges are the same. So from the picture it had, I counted it had six ridges. And these also have six ridges. I know... For me, it's a little scary. It's like, you know, I know what I'm going to get when I get it from the company. I don't know what I may get if I'm getting it from eBay, if that makes any sense. Just like if you go on, like, a Sammy Dress or Alex Express, Alex Express, you don't know what you're getting. You know, it, it may look okay on the picture, but when that thing gets sent in the mail, you're going to be pretty upset. Um... Only negative thing that I didn't like was it was shipped to me and it was left outside my door. While thank God I live in a in a, in a decent neighborhood or a decent um, apartment area, um, it was not stolen or anything like that. Thank God, because I would have been just upset or whatever. Excuse me. Um. So yeah. Um, anything else? Mm. Oh, they're sturdy. Okay, I'm 194 pounds and I don't care. Ain't no shame in my game. These babies hold up every bit of poundage, okay? They, they, they don't, uh, they don't twist, they don't bend, nothing like that. They're sturdy, they're hard, they're heavy, they're a good boot. But like I said, the only thing I didn't like was that it was shipped to me, it was left outside my door. I don't know if I got away from that. I don't know how to eat my little piece of food and stuff. And um yeah. And it was there waiting for me when I got home. Uh yeah. And and it was in a package like it looked like some boots or some shoes. It like, you know, it looked like some shoes had been shipped to your girl. <laughs> But yes, I've worn them for, to interviews, I've worn them out, I've worn them to the club. I mean, I've worn these babies, and I don't have any problem out of them, and I, and I love them. And I would certainly buy from that um, seller again. Um, I'm actually 
buying some white ones that look something like that, and I'll do a review on those as well. And they also are, I think, Public Desire has boots like those as well. And yeah, I just got desperate and I just went online because they just did, the black ones just disappeared off of Public Desire's website. So yeah, those are a review <coughs> on those boots. Thank you. That they're all those. Um. Okay, moving along. Those are that's that for the booth. Uh, this piece of jewelry I wanted to talk about that that's on my face. I don't know if you can see it. Let me take it off for you. Here you go. There's that. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me get back to the booth. They have cutouts, right? You see that cutouts? And yes, I did buy these booths for fall and winter, and I bought them for fall and winter for a reason. Um. I plan on wearing them during fall and winter and spring. Why, you ask? They have cutouts in them. Ooh, no. I go ahead and that's what they make thick socks for. And a hair store in my area has colorful, thick socks. And that's awesome. Right up my alley, that is so my style. I put on the thick socks, the, whatever color I'm feeling that day, I just throw them on. And it shows through the little cutouts, and it is so cute. I just love them. And I'm not worried about my ankles. Like, my destiny, my ankles would be okay if they're a little chilly from outside of my house and to my car, and then in my car going to a destination, and then the destination, I'm inside of the, wherever I'm at. I'm, my ankles, will, they'll be fine, okay? So, anyway, moving on. Uh, I just showed you this. This is a faux septum ring. It's not real. I don't have the boss to get my septum really pierced. Um, uh, okay. Okay. Um, uh oh, yeah. I don't have the boss to get my septum pierced. So I seen this on a girl um, on Instagram. And she was rocking this. But she would not for the longest. She, she would not say where she got her this from this piece of jewelry from okay and uh i was just like you know where did you get you know come on out with it <laughs> and finally i think she did and it's in um these i ordered mine from a girl on instagram and um, a company on instagram called 87 eclectic not electric eight seven eclectic all together and with eclectic with an S. And um, they're called the septum clip mini clips. There's a septum clip. So they just you just open it up a little bit and you just go in there and you press it, just clips on in there. And um very convenient, very, very cute, very bling, very shiny. I absolutely love them. These are the minis and she also has brass ones and stuff as well. Um, um I know y'all like, uh-uh. Is she really eating while she's doing a video? Yes, I am. Because this is like my 10th time recording a video. This this video, and it just has not worked out. And so I'm just like, I'm just going to eat. Okay? Maybe me eating is good luck. And they are like, she just said she was 94, 194 pounds. She needs to not eat. Whatever. Um, I'm trying to find the other one for you guys. Okay. That's another one. Oh, it's in here. And here's the other one I got from the Hi. website. Taking my baby to get up out of there. Out of a little baggy. So here is the um other one. Okay. And the, here I'll show you how that one hangs. And I don't know what's there. They don't have names or anything. And uh there's how that one hangs. 
and whatnot. Okay, so they're gold in color, and she has some of them that are silver and stuff, and they're gold in color. Little diamonds in them, they look really good and really shiny and really girly. Um, they're very comfortable, you forget that they're there, except for this one because it dangles a little bit. Um, they're, I think they're eight dollars. Um, on her, on her Instagram, you have to email her to order them, and she sends you an invoice to PayPal. I don't think her name is Nisu. I'm not sure, but that's what it says for on her um, email. And that's what she said through email. And um, yeah, they're just they're really, 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 really cute. I love them. I wear them. Almost every day. I'm ordering another one from her as well. Okay. She's trying to be on the phone. I'm ordering another one from her and I'm sending one to my friend. So hopefully, Sade, I hope you like it. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, and I have a third one. This is, I did not get from her. This is from Shankara or Sankara Trading. Um, on Etsy, and this is a brass one, and 87 Eclectics, I think she has brass ones, or metal ones, or whatever, um, as well, and they're a little bit bigger, those are like, look like really septum, you know, things, or whatever, and I do plan on getting, um, one from her, leave that alone, uh, one from her, like that, this is, like I said, from Shankar Trading from London, and I think 87 Eclectics is out of Canada, um, uh, let's see. What was I saying? She threw me off. And, um, here. You want that? And, um, uh, I don't know how much this was, but you can get this one from Etsy, off Etsy. And, like I said, the shop at Shankara Trading. And they were really good. Both, both companies are really great. They worked with me, they were very patient. Um, with the ones that I got from London, Shankar Trading, it was lost in the mail, and they were so understanding. They sent me another one straight away, and I had no problems out of them. They never asked no questions or nothing. Um, and 87 Eclectic also sent theirs, and theirs, hers got here, got, uh, hers got here very quick. And I was so happy to just get them. They came here. ASAP. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, so I think that's it with that. I think that's all I want to show you about that. We're gonna move on to my wig. This lovely piece on my head. This is a finger wave wig. Okay, guys. Um, it may not look like it. I don't know if you can really tell. It may not look like it, but it is. Um, I don't know what you want me to say here. And, um, let's see, I have a blush. I can show you, right? Okay, I'm gonna brush it down. And, I mean, you can be a little bit careful with it. Because, um, it's tagging. I'm just going to my hair out, my real hair up under there. Brush that to the side. Now can you start to see that this is a finger wave pattern? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. So yeah, it's a finger wave pattern. And uh, it's, it's synthetic and I want, I want it synthetic. What I suggest if you go in there and you want a um a finger wave wig, you get the synthetic hair. Don't get the real one because if you go in there and you get the real one, it's not going to do what you want it to do. And it's not going to be as versatile as the synthetic or versatile as the synthetic one. The synthetic one does exactly what I want it to do when I want it to do it, how I want it to do it, okay? And I love that about this wig. Um, let, me, let me just show you how it does. So I'm just messing it up, right? I'm just like messing it up. And there is kind of feathered or whatever. 
and here's the front, and there's that, so you can do that. I look kind of crazy, but there we go. That's kind of cute. So you do that, just fix the um, little sideburns and stuff. Like little pixie cut, and there, there's that. It don't look like it's a finger wave when do, do it, you know, does it? Well, it is. That's how it comes off the package. And I think like day two, it kind of got a little bit dull. And all you need to do for that is to just get you a nice little jar, mason jar of coconut oil. And that is that. And it looks better than new. It gives it that shine like you would not believe coconut oil from Kroger's. And um, got the oil next up, up to above the olive oil, vegetable oil, canola oil, all that. It's in it. I got the one that was in the mason jar. Um, yeah. And I use it on my hair. I'm a natural Easta, natural hair Easta up under this. So I use it for my natural hair to fill in moisture. I mean, coconut oil is the end all be all of oil. Get you some. Um, and just put, a little, just put a little bit on there, like a tip of your fingers, work it in there, and then it brings it back to life, and you can comb it down, it go, it snaps right back into the pattern that it was, no problem, okay? Um, so yeah, I don't know, when I, a lot of, um, a lot of videos that I've seen, they were like, they called it the mommy wig, the, you know, the Gretchen, the Gertrude, the Matilda, all kinds of different names for this damn finger wave wig. And at the end of the day, it's a finger wave wig. Uh, the difference at, at my hair store is they had four different ones. Two of them were human hair. Two of them were synthetic hair. And I got the one, the synthetic hair, the company, the tag inside says Vanessa. Uh, and I don't know what style it is, but I know this is by Vanessa. I think you can go on their site. But this is a shorter one. They had a longer one, slightly longer one. And I really wanted it. But uh, the girl at the store, she wears it. So a lot of people come in there and see her with it on. And they're like, ooh, I just have to have it. You know, so, yeah. Um, and then and they had the same with the human hair ones. They had a short one and a long one. And like I said, the, the um, long one, they show me the human hair one. It does not do what you want it to do. You, you can frisk it. You can do whatever to it, and it won't do anything. It'll just snap right back, and it won't stay in no style. It'll just, it won't do a style. It stays in the finger wave. And some days I don't feel like finger wave. Some days I feel like, you know, curling up a bit, you know, or whatever. Um, let's see, moving on. Oh, and <clears throat> this lovely shirt that I have on was a, was a buy, a recent buy. This is the, um, three-way poncho suit by Suzanne Summers. And, uh, it's a professional, casual, dressy, with three styles and more. Stylish, everyday, flattering, easy to fit. Okay? And this is a As Seen on TV brand. Right? Here's the box that it came in. The package. There's that. There's Miss Suzanne Summers, I guess. And uh, here's the back. It gives you some ideas. And I am wearing the nice plus size woman style in the, in the middle. I I think these times kind of, I'm sorry. Well, maybe the poncho makes her look a little thick. But I know for sure this one right here is a plus size woman. Um, how y'all doing? Suzanne Summers is going to put like, plus size woman on the back. Okay, so. And this reminds me of like Grace Jones uh, kind of look or darling or Madame, you know, that they the look that you try to achieve with the star. You can just do it with this. This was $20 from Walmart. It's in the Asking on TV aisle or area. Um, it, I can wear it like this, right? I can put it down. Excuse my pink bra strap. I can put it down like that. Give you some um, 
Halle Berry uh, in the Peyton, is it Peyton Pool? I think. Something like that. I think that's what it is. That, that movie. I don't know. But 90s uh, shoulder, you know, or 50s shoulder look with that. I can do an off the shoulder. Show a little bit of of my ink, I guess. Put my little necklace over. Okay, we're at 25 minutes. I know y'all want to be looking at this all day, right? Um, and you can drape it down and be professional. Put your little necklace over and you drape it down. Okay. Um, I'll go back and let you guys see. So that's it right down. Here it is. And you can cinch the waist or whatever. You know, it's like three quarter sleeves or have I have many quarter sleeves. You know, you can roll it up a little bit more and stuff. Um it kind of reminds me of like an older woman look, but I feel like it can be pulled off um, for a young woman. It depends on how you style it uh, and everything else. And they're like, well, why are you taking me out for that shirt? The shirt is not um, that thick. Not like an exclusive material. It's thin. And I know you can see my face through here. Okay? But still, it's a three-way poncho. If you don't get this thing dirty, you can wear this for a few days. And any style you want. As a matter of fact, I have an interview. Wish me luck tomorrow. And I'm going to wear it tomorrow. And I'm going to dress it up, dress it down, whatever. You know, and I, it's an interview at a boutique. So I will be wearing it. And they happen to think I'm very stylish. So I'll be wearing this. So go get you one for Rum Walmart. Uh, well... We're at 27 minutes here. Oh, my lipstick is just Ruby Woo from MAC. I'm not a makeup girl. And this is my first lipstick purchase. And it's kind of dried out because I've been eating and stuff. You know, and drinking some water. Did you drink your water today? Okay. So, I think that's it. I don't have the... Uh, crescent or or whatever lip liner to make it do that ombre thing. I'll just do this one just like it. Record this video for you guys. Um, and I think that is about it, y'all. Uh, really. Um, yeah. Let's check out these boots. I certainly recommend that. Yeah. Well, that's really it, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get them off of here. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you find it helpful. Find you some new style pieces. Etsy is always a good place to get you some weirdly unique jewelry uh, and things like that. They also have folks have some on there as well. Don't leave eBay out when you're looking for your boot. No disrespect to public desire. You know, that just didn't have what your girl was looking for. And I wouldn't coin the high gods for all that mess. Right then and there. And yeah. Oh, and I'm wearing the XL, the three X in the size of a three way poncho. Why? Because I didn't want to get the small to XL because if I can lose two sizes, I wanted it to be a loose fit. And I am a fit girl. You know. So yeah. Um, I recommend that if you want a loose fit. And um yeah. And I think that's it, y'all. I'm just going to hang it on over here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, tune back in. I will be doing some, another video on some of the things that I bought. I just ordered some things from eBay and another uh, custom clip from my girl at 8070 Collective. So I will be doing a, another review and haul for that. And I have a few more things I would like to share with you guys. So if you like what you see, make sure to thumbs up. Subscribe to me. Um, I know it's like the only second video in here, but I promise to be bringing more quality videos to you guys. Um, again, my name is Mystic. 
I am not very good with editing and I'm not going to have the latest editing stuff, uh, software, but I mean, I'll do it again. I do like doing this um, when it works out for me. So I think I'll continue to do it and um, hopefully you guys like what you see and find what I talk about and it's helpful. All right, well, have a great night and have a happy, safe holidays, holiday season. And do stuff, go out in your community and do stuff. I certainly will. And always stay, it's never too late to get fabulous. So always get fabulous. And on here, we'll just be talking about everything. So you guys have a great night and thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe if you want more videos and you like what you see. All right, bye. Oh, 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 oh,